Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday. I told you I'd be back and I just realized I'm like really up close. <laughs> I had put it up this close trying to see. I couldn't decide if I was going to wear like eyeliner at all. This is just the Trish McAvoy black liner shadow and I used it dry so you can see how intense it is. And then I went over it a little bit with that Blackberry Granite which I that's my favorite shadow. That could be one of my favorite shadows of all times, of all brands. And so I was, um, and I've also got a bunch of stuff out here. You wouldn't believe, first of all, I, first of all, hey, <laughs> sorry, I always start off with some kind of issue, which is so trivial. But, um, and here, let me cut this TV off because I get distracted when I look over here, even though it's on mute. But um, I have so many things to show you, and I ended up, like, cutting out some of my video last night. You know I could never make a 20-minute or 20-some-minute Friday video. But I cut some out so that I could just show you today because I had forgotten some details. So, this is going to be another kind of long video. I hope you don't mind. But um, the first thing, I've got some new, just a fabulous box of Sheila Fajal I just got in of stuff that is just like right up my alley. I hope it is yours too. And then I showed this stuff to you yesterday. Um, it's some Trish McAvoy things that my friend Jamie at Nordstrom sent to me to use and share with you and do tutorials and all that kind of stuff and just share. Trish McAvoy, sorry I almost said put my foot up. Trish McAvoy isn't, I don't know, not many people talk about it, but their shadows really are some of my favorites. And so since she's at the Trish counter now, she sent me a little, one of these little things of her favorites. And I asked her, I said, did you, are those your best selling shadows or did you pick those out for me? And she says she picked them out for me. So um, I don't know the names of them. I need to either pop them out of the back which I was scared that I was going to break them but what I might do is just ask her what they are and then I'll list everything down below and she wanted me to tell you this is something else I was going to show you she wanted me to tell you that let me look at her text uh, she says she picked these colors just for me um, let your viewers know that we'll be having a gift with purchase coming up soon they have to pre-order before October 17th I um, hope you enjoy your package. So um, their gift with purchases are good, really. And they have like good deals. Like when they have like a little set of this come out, it's always just a really good deal. And they don't give you like off colors or, you know, just bobo stuff. <laughs> they give you good stuff. So I'm going to show you really quickly what she sent me. And then I thought what I would do is try to do like a tutorial or something and um, show you some other stuff. But so she sent me some things that I've never tried because I've never tried any Trish skincare. And I am most excited about these, which are the Trish McAvoy uh, Beta Hydroxy Daily Exfoliator Pads. And it says imp improves skin's radiance, texture, and clarity, enables your treatment products to better absorb. My favorite thing to do is to exfoliate. I mean, I love the way my skin looks right after I've done the Clarisonic and used my glycolic cleanser. So I'm curious to see how these will do. And then she sent me this, which is the Beauty Booster Advanced Repair Retinol Eye Cream, which I will let you know because I am always in the market for a good eye cream. And then this is the Beauty Booster Eye Serum. Smooths lines, brightens, darkens, removes puffiness. So maybe one will be better to use in the morning and then one better at night. Seems like if it um, reduces puffiness, this might be better in the morning. And yeah, cream. Usually you use creams at night. So I'll try those and let you know how they go. And then a lot of this stuff that she sent me, I actually have on. So, first of all, I love these little things. The first time I got one, I thought, eh, you know, I thought, with me not traveling a lot, you know, it wasn't as big of an appeal to me as it would be to some people because, you know, I have all my stuff in my clear cube. But that pink one and the other one, I have loved, I kind of have it sitting in a different spot. I've loved just grabbing it and opening it and having all that stuff right there. And um, it is good when you travel because you can put so much other stuff 
you know, even not, of course, not true stuff. And see how that comes out. And um, so she sent me a beautiful lip combo that I have on. It is gorgeous. And it is the Sexy Nude Lip Gloss, which their lip glosses I love. They kind of remind me of the Jane Iredale or let me think of some other ones you guys might have tried. But it's the Squeezy Tube. Um, and it has that, not extreme, but that little bit of like tingly, minty feeling. I love it. I love that feeling over lipstick. And then this is the lipstick that she chose for me, and it's called Perfection. And I love that because you know how I always say that. It's perfection. And it is. It is perfection. It is the prettiest, I don't know if you can see it, but the prettiest, like light, rosy. I'll swatch it for you because it swatches real good. I had swatched it in the other video. But look how pretty that is. It is just creamy and then beautiful. I already had the Trish McAvoy lip liner in almost nude and that's what I have on for a lip liner and I was going to ask you guys my lips are uneven you can see that one side like is it okay side, this side is it this side yeah this side kind of has that natural rounded shape but this side is more of a straight up to the cupid's bow and so what I try to do to even it out is, you know, line a little bit. And then a lot of times that liner will show more. And then if I don't do it, if I say, well, whatever, everybody's got uneven lips. When I put my top and bottom lips together, it always goes up over you that guys anyway. You try to fix so, it or do you just leave it or what? But anyway, and I have to have lip liner. I love my lip liner. Okay, so this is the little... Um, I was going to say cartridge, but page that she sent me. And you can see it's like a blush and bronzer combo. And I used that just kind of mixing it up and put that on my cheeks. And then I did put a little bit more of that Jane Iredell Cheeky because I love that color so much. But at first what I did is I used a little bit of that and I was using these separately because I've used these a few days now. But I really like those two mixed up. And I even have used... Um, those two in my crease. I think that's what I had in my crease yesterday in my video. So, and then these are the shadows, and um, this one is gorgeous. I believe that one's a peachy, I think it's called peach something, but, um, and then that is one of the liners, and oh no, I think I left it downstairs, but she also sent me, I've been, oh no, here it is. Um, she sent me this, which is their finish line. That is the cutest little box. Anyway, it's quilted. It's so cute. But she sent me this, which is the Trish McAvoy finish line. And this is what you use to make your dark shadows a liner. And so I have been using that with this dark plummy color. And um, so that, and then you have a little mirror with that. And then you can order, of course, more of these pages. And then she sent me these. And one of these lip colors is awesome, too. Okay, this mascara, which... I'll talk about my lashes in a minute, so I don't have any mascara on, but it's the High Volume Mascara Jet Black, and I love it. It's one of those little skinny wands. I love these, and um, let's see. I can hear the kids. I can hear Will running around. This is the Beauty Booster Lip and Cheek Color, and this is called Perfect Plum, and it is a beautiful color pretty that is it reminds me of like the kind of color that I ha had on yesterday that NYX that NYX lipstick in whipped caviar looked pretty all day I mean it just it was so weird it's like it just stayed on for hours and hours and then when it faded it faded so evenly it is a beautiful lipstick definitely a must-have okay and then this is the instant eye lift and this is what I use today I'm having, I love the look of the whole triangle of light and doing all that stuff. But you know, yesterday when I looked at my face in the mirror, a lot of it is because I had not done the Clarisonic the night before. But it seems like when I try to layer those um, concealers and highlighters and stuff over my foundation, they always end up looking cakey, like on my forehead and my chin and stuff. So I've gone back to today, just putting this up under my eyes and around my nose a little bit. So I have that on, and then this is the Trish McAvoy Eye Basics, and I don't know what I have on today. I don't know if I put on any eye primer today. 
oh, I just put on a little bit of my foundation today. So that is, see how you can see it's just provides like a good, even, you know, just skin, a light skin type base with a, I would say, if you can see it with a pink, I like that, like a little pink undertone. So thank you so much, Jamie. And I, you guys already know how much I love the Trish McAvoy shadows that I have. I love the black, the blackberry granite and the almond and the cream. And then I will give these, try these a little bit more. They're beautiful. They're those purple colors. I love them. I love that liner shadow too. So, um, and then, so I'll put her number down below and you can call her or text her and find out what the gift with purchase will be and then how much you'll have to spend. She's really, really nice not intimidating or anything like some of them can be, you'll enjoy working with her. And so then you, I got this package this week from one of my subscribers, Dana, on here. And oh, this, you guys are gonna, she sent me, okay, let me start off with the card. Let's see here, where is it? Or the letter. Okay, she wanted to send me a couple of pieces that reminded her reminded me of her home, which is Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. She has encl enclosed one of the most successful jewelry lines in Canada, Hillberg and Burke, which was started right here in our little city. A Canadian royal mounted police beaver, which is a symbol of our Canadian heritage. Oh, he's so cute. Some Canadian maple syrup, which is one of her favorites and she likes to bake with it, and a couple of junk food staples she thought the family could enjoy, Smarties and ketchup chips. And then she went on to write me a, just a beautiful letter. And um, so here's the chips. Brooke loves all these. She just, I searched every grocery store until I finally found out, she asked her friend, I finally found out they had them at Big Lots. But she likes the Lay's um, West Coast Truffle. And she loves like all of these specialty chips like that. Okay, this, oh my gosh. Look at this baby. Look at that face. And I wish you guys could feel how soft he is. And look at his little tail. I've already shown him to Brooke, but I'm really gonna give him to Will because Will loves, he always has loved like teddy bears and stuff. Even, if, even though he's older now, he still, you know, gets a kick out of it. So I just love him. Thank you so much, Dana. This, I mean, if I could cry, I would. But <laughs> I better not wet my lashes. He just is so cute to me. I love that little, the crest and everything. Oh, he's so cute. And then the syrup, gold medal maple, Canadian maple syrup. And then some Smarties. Definitely um, Canadian candy because we don't have those here at all. When I think of Smarties, I think of, yeah, our Smarties are in those, oh, I was thinking Sweet Tarts, but our Smarties are in that, the little packages, so that's totally different. And then this is the earrings. And she sent it a nice bag and the book about the jewelry. And you guys know I love, like the, like Lisa from Canada sent me that Vitaly necklace that I love. They are gorgeous. See how they're like, oh. They are just so sparkly. And I told her, not only are they going to look so good with like a black dress or something, but you know I will wear these with just like all black and my leather moto. <laughs> and I just think they are beautiful. Here, let me take them out. They're kind of on attached on there, but they're just beautiful. I don't have anything on today because I was going to show you something else, but I just love these and I know that they're going to show up really nice too. So thank you so much, Dana. Just your thoughtfulness. I appreciate it. And, um, oh, it's got like a warranty card and everything. Please keep me dry. So nice. I love learning about new stuff like this. Okay. So let me put this neatly away and I can't wait to give Will that little bee and check my <laughs> list and make sure that I am not missing anything. So, um, one thing I wanted to mention, I could not believe this. I heard, I think this week on the radio, that the new iPhone was coming out. And usually that means nothing to me. Like I eventually will usually want it, but I've never won, I've never ever been the first one to get anything like that. And, but then I heard that the camera was better. So I mentioned it to John and we, he looked online and they weren't available. They were like back ordered, all the different colors. And I wanted the 6S, not the 6S Plus. 
and um, so we went to eat last night at one of our favorite Mexican restaurants that we haven't been to in a long time, the one that's right down from Oliver. And so we went over to Verizon after dinner and they had the phones. And I just watched um, Inner to Outer Beauty, Sheila, last night, her video. And wherever she lives, I can't remember right now, um, they didn't have them, but they had plenty of them where I went. So I did get the um, new iPhone 6S and so far, you won't believe this, but my Mophie case from my old phone, just the regular 6, um, works on it. He, I was going to get another one. I couldn't decide what color and then I decided just to get gold again because they had like blue, pink, like this rubbery black and they didn't have rose gold or anything and he said it was like $85 and he said, I hate to sell you another one when it still fits in this one. So, um, I don't know, huh, I don't know if it's, it's on 80% and usually it's 100%. So let's see, I might have had that little button not pushed to charge. And John's been like, um, he knows how to do all that. Like we didn't have to get my phone transferred there and we didn't trade my old phone in. So um, he brought it home and transferred all my stuff over and we have been He's been going through and getting rid of apps that I don't use and then updating the apps that I do use. And it looks like I just got a text from Peep Jr. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, we'll let you know what I think about the new iPhone and I'll, I will use the camera today and just see how it goes. So that was like a big, not a big purchase, but you know what I mean, a big purchase last night, a big fun purchase. Okay, so, oh, I'm so glad I looked at my list. It says, Make Raleigh Announcement. This week, Sheila has another one of her, like, trunk shows in, you know, with all the monkeys boutiques, and she is going to Raleigh, and, you know, last time I met her in Raleigh, her and her husband, and then my whole family went to meet her. I really hated that I didn't get to see my buddies, like Nicole and... Um, just all the girls that I've met in. So she invited Raleigh. me to come hang out with her at Monkeys on, I believe it is this Thursday. It's October 1st. And so I hope that some of you that live around in the area will come see us and come out, come hang out with us at Monkeys Boutique. And then I think we are probably, I don't know what we'll do afterwards. Um, I'm just staying that one day and one night. And, um, but I wanted to tell you guys, and I will post some stuff on my Instagram and remind you, because I'm hoping that some of you can make it, even if you live close to Raleigh, I would love to meet you and hang out, and Sheila is just so much fun to be around, and, um, so I'll see you there on, at Monkey's in Raleigh, on these October things 1st. that I just got last night, I kept expecting my box, and we got back from going out to eat and getting my phone, and I still didn't have my Sheila Fajal box, and I knew she had sent me a lot of good stuff that had just gotten back. She had just gotten in, and her husband just got back from Brazil. And um, it. next thing I know, I looked on the porch. I had already taken a bath, washed my hair, had my nightgown on, and I looked on the porch, and there was my Sheila Fajal box, so they must have come late. But um, oh, I got more of the, gosh, I can't remember what they're called now. Um, Camila earrings in and look at these in the gunmetal and I got all the, all the different colors in but you know I love the gunmetal and so you know you can wear these with um, you know this little back okay oh wow okay so she did something different this time okay no 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 this is the same okay so it's got this back like that's the earring and then that's the back so you know it hangs like behind the earring and then it comes with this extra back so that yeah right there so that if you want to wear just that by itself you can wear that and these are beautiful and I've been sold out of them forever and I just got a bunch in I got the um the gunmetal and then I got silver and gold and rose gold I believe I just opened the box well, I opened it last night, but I just looked through it this morning. And then um, the Lilu little button earrings in the gunmetal. And I'm going to put those on right now because um, I think that they will go with this. And they're kind of casual. Like, I'm, I'm kind of dressed more casual today. I told you I was going to wear this in a different way today. So, I love these. 
have to take these out of stock already. <laughs> okay, so I took those out, but look at that. Isn't that perfect? Oh, I love those. And then she did the Chantel hoops, which you guys know these are some of my all-time favorite hoops. They are like the perfect size, and I love the shape or the, the meatiness of them. I just think they're really cool. So we did those in gunmetal, or she did, upon my request, because she knows I'm into this stuff. Then the Lola hoops. I love these, and everybody that has gotten these, I sent Tammy a pair, everyone that has gotten these loves them. They're so light, and I love that little, they're like twinkly. They're just so pretty. Like, when you have them on, I love these. They're gorgeous. So we did those in the gunmetal, and then she, okay, this. This is a pair of earrings that she sent me probably two, maybe three, I think two, maybe three years ago. And I wore them, and you guys just loved them. And she didn't make them anymore. And I asked her about them again, and she says, no, you know, they, they kind of take so long to make. It's just almost not worth it. Well, they made them again. And they are so pretty. Look, do you guys remember those? And when you wear them, they just, like, hang and, like, go all different directions. Look at that. Because they're kind of, like, hanging real free on that. Oh, they're gorgeous. And what are these called? Oh, goodness. Chris. Chris earrings. C-R-I-S. Sheila's so funny. She spells a lot of these names and stuff different because she's from Brazil. And she, naturally, she speaks Portugal or Portuguese. And um, so, you know, a lot of her names are spelled a little bit different than we would. I love that. So, they're Chris earrings. Love these. And... Um, I don't want to get any of this stuff mixed up here. Let's see. Yep, that's where these go. And then she did them in the gunmetal. How beautiful are these going to look with a oh, with a leather mogo in a white tank or with a black dress for a Christmas party or with a graphic t-shirt and your jeans. I mean, just anything. I love them. So pretty. I love that it's, um, Sheila's jewelry has that beachy, um, kind of LA vibe to me anyway. It's like a lighter, freer, happier type jewelry. And when she does it in the gunmetal, I love that because it mixes a little bit of that feeling with a little bit of, um, edginess. And I, I love that mixture. And then these are new. I did not even know they were coming and I love them. Look at this cool necklace. So this would be just like the best layering piece. It's just like a gunmetal. I think she calls it the um, Crescent Moon Necklace. And it is beautiful. Look how good it's going to look with everything. And then this is the, um, I think this is called the Double. This is the Double Bar Crescent Moon Necklace. Look how pretty that is. It is just beautiful. The the um, the gunmetal or oxidized, I guess it's gunmetal, is just so pretty on these. Let me show it to you. I love like the texture and everything. So it still has like that brushed texture. And it's just so pretty. So I think that is it that I wanted to show you from there. And then I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. It's going to be kind of a casual outfit because we are going to go to just get Brick's Pizza and Brooke is gone with a friend and so it's and just today and, Will and, and I or today and tomorrow we have a big festival here in my little community and in their schools and it's called the Spot Festival because where we live is a big seafood you know we live near the water of course and it's a big seafood I think it on our sign it says the sea, seafood capital of the Carolinas and um, so anyway it's the Spot Festival and I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram last year where we were petting like the llamas and stuff like that and they all have good stuff to eat and then they sell things and then when the kids were little we would let them do the jumpy things and all that stuff but we're going to go out there to the festival and it has been it's not raining now but it's been rainy so I can't wear any heels or anything so I pulled out some old flare jeans that I bought I think off of eBay a couple of years ago there's seven for all mankind and I think someone probably had these hemmed because these are the ones I can wear with flip-flops so I'm wearing just Mojavianas, and then I went and got a, you knew I couldn't resist, I went and got a 
um, graphic tee that I had spotted at Oliver. They had it on their Instagram. And um, so that's what I've got so on. So I'll show you. Is. I'll be right back. Like I told you, I wanted to try this jacket with a graphic tee and some just beat up, kind of like that picture of Kate Moss, just some beat up flare jeans. And so I wanted to make sure, I felt like the detail didn't show good enough on this jacket. I love like this piece. And it just goes all the way through, all the way around that little chain detail. And take this off. This t-shirt is so fabulous. It kind of reminds me of the go your own way. But it is the, it's got a rolled sleeve and it's kind of distressed. And it says Night Cat. And it's from Current Elliot. And I just love like the colors of it and the look of it and everything. I thought it was just perfect and it's going to look so good under like all my black jackets and jean jackets. This is what I'm going like to wear that. for the day. And I know that typically I would probably wear like my new heels or something, but it's going to be muddy and yucky. So I'm just going to wear my flip flops and this. And I might even have to, when we're outside, I might have to take this off. It just depends on how hot it is. Okay, and so, so. for accessories, mm -hmm. you saw I just put on these Lulu hoops. I am wearing the same necklace. I love this necklace. I think it's so cool. This is the one from French Candy. And today I thought I would just do something different and layer it up with a little something. So I put on this Dean Davidson, um, I can't remember, Vanguard chain. It's one of my favorite ones. And um, the nail polish I have on, I just ran, that day I was in Ulta, I grabbed it because I wanted something quick to... <laughs> I had a vision or a hope of painting my nails in the car when I was waiting in the pickup line for Will, and I ended up getting in a real big rush that day and didn't get to do it, but these were only like, I think, $4.99 a piece, and it's the Insta Dry in Sally Hansen, black to black, and then the Fast Dry, and they have the wands that I like, like the um, curved wands, or not wands, brushes. <laughs> So that's what my nail polish is. And oh so God, my lashes. Here. I love them. I love them. Now I'm having to get used to them. They feel just like wearing like false lashes, but I'm not used to sleeping in them and I cannot get them wet for 48 hours. So like last night, instead of taking a shower, I just took a bath and you know washed my face real good all around and then just washed my hair in the bathtub <laughs> because I, I wanted to and um, so I, that's one thing but other than that nothing's bothered me it didn't bother me sleeping with them on they don't hurt it did take she did she put so many in she said I had good lashes so she was able to put a lot of lashes on me and let me get close and um, so these are the um, like glamour well, not glamour but the long ones and they're the ones that are like graduated to the outside and um she said they are they're kind of like thick and long i don't know exactly like what size they are or anything and they're the extreme lash is what she uses and so i feel like i'm too close and you can put mascara on but my goal is to not do that because that's the whole point to me of having them on and i just love like last night when i got out of the tub and got up here and was editing my video and you know was just sitting here it was so nice to look over and just the lashes it's kind of like having hair extensions in I always loved the way I could get up and go because my hair just when you got that much of it and you got the extensions it look just looks good and um, so I did have to lay there for gosh I think it from 11 to 2 it's 11 12 1 2 that can't be right 11 to 2. I did. I wasn't, so I got there at 11 and it probably took, you know, a few minutes for us to introduce ourselves and for me to lay down and for her to put those, you know, you put those things on the bottom like that. And then she got started and I asked her, I said, has anybody ever fallen asleep? And she says, oh, every day. And so I was thinking, gosh, I might fall asleep because, you know, a lot of times I go back to sleep in the mornings. And so, and I was scared because for some reason, this is so funny. I can't believe I'm admitting this, but for some reason, I don't ever snore at night, but sometimes when I'm taking a nap, I will even wake myself up like snoring or <laughs> snorting or something, you know, and I was like, oh God, what if I fall asleep and end up snoring for the first time? But 
I didn't ever fall asleep, but I would say for about 45 minutes or an hour, you know, we didn't talk. And, you know, they, I was laying there. They had all that spa music on. It was just, I did not mind being there a bit. I thought that was going to drive me crazy. I enjoyed that more than I did the massage, if that tells you anything. And um, so then when she was finished, um, I ended up getting... Um, they were just beautiful, you know, right now they're a little, I like them a little bit more crisscrossy, but when she had done them, they were just like combed out and beautiful, and um, so she gave me, you know, like the little brushes to keep them brushed out, um, she said not to use any oil-based makeup remover, which I pretty much knew all that kind of stuff, and then I made, uh, made an appointment for two weeks, and I'm going to see after two weeks, we're just going to see how it goes and if I can go two every two and a half weeks or whatever, go from there and I'm going to go ahead and make my appointments. And it's 55 for a fill-in. And um, let me see what else. And I did buy, this was kind of like a sucker move for me. I probably wouldn't do it again, but it's okay. I was asking her about eyeliner and she said that they actually made an eyeliner to use. And so I bought it. It's like a, um, I just bought black and it's like a pencil, but it's a gel pencil liner. But like today, I didn't want to use that because I wanted to use something that was really, really easy to get off, especially right now when I'm not supposed to get them wet. So today I just used powder and I figure I can take like a, I've got um, Bioderma wipes and I have um, Cetaphil wipes. And I figured I could just kind of take it and run it like that, you know, around my lash line and it would be good enough. But so far, I love them. And I tell you, I was expecting you guys to just like jump on me and just go off on me. And thank you for not doing that because I know I've said in the past that I hated these things. But thank you for being supportive and letting me kind of figure it out. And um, I was surprised at how many people said that you have them and you loved them. So that made me feel good. And I'm just going to try to, you know, keep my expectations where they should be. So, um, we'll see how it goes, and we'll see if I end up putting mascara on them or not. I don't think I will. I think I really like them like this, and I just, I really love the way it looks with no makeup, but I felt like I had to redeem myself today and put a little bit of makeup on. So, I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend, and thank you for everything, for all your comments and your support, and being understanding and all that kind of stuff, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.